My thoughts on dips are the same as pull-ups. If you suck at them, <laughs> time to level up. All right, guys, dips. And you know, I really, really love dips, and for many reasons. But when I was a young bodybuilder, I saw Brand Warren slap three, four, five chains around his neck and just trash dips. And his chest, shoulder, tricep girdle was always just so nasty. And I did my best to emulate that, right? So my main goal was to just be thick like Branch, right? And plus I loved his training. So to me, I fell in love with dips at a very young age. And plus I was so fucking skinny, I was good at them. So let me talk you through all different types of dip variations today and then pros and cons of each, and then I'll show you one at the end that I absolutely don't like. So let's go through them. Let's start with dips for your chest. And you know, I, I used for, like I said, for years I finished my chest workout with dips. And the main thing we wanna do focus on here is body position. So let me show you how I like to really lean forward and get my pecs into it as opposed to sitting up tall for my triceps. So grab the handles here, get into sp space. And then all I wanna do is just hook my heels and then tilt forward. So you can see how I'm pitched in a down stretch and then here. Now, if you wait, pay attention to that form, I do not come all the way up because I wanna keep my triceps out of it. It's kind of a sweet range of motion. It's not too deep where it's trashing my shoulders, but it's that sweet, like in the middle range. And I'm telling you guys, through my outside of my pecs, lower pecs, and all the way up into the meat of the middle of my pecs, I feel that exercise. Now, you saw how I really had to push my body forward. And honestly, if I was to do a set of these, just stand alone, I'd have to do way too many. So. Like I talked about early in the video, is I like to stack chains on my neck, but I like to do it for two reasons. One, to load to make it harder so I don't do as many reps, but two, it helps position my body. So let me show you here. Now on a good day, if I wasn't demonstration purposes, I'd probably go three chains, but these are roughly 22 and a half pounds a piece, put around my neck, and what you'll find is when you get up into space, it's gonna help tilt my body forward. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, so I know what you're gonna say. Chris, I work out at Planet Fitness and I can't have chains. <laughs> well, I hope to God you don't work out at Planet Fitness, but I work at a, a large commercial gym, I don't have chains. Well, guess what? I used to not work out at a gym where I had chains, I didn't have them yet. So, guess what I did? And this was well before the internet. So I was like, okay, how can I front load my body with extra weight and that pitches me forward? And guess what I thought of? A dip belt. So check this out, guys. All I have is a dip belt. They're cheap as shit, Amazon, 20 bucks. Hook it around my head, same shit. See that sense on my neck? That is an enormous pet peeve of mine. <laughs> I don't have this equipment, what do I do? I'm lost, fuck it, I'm not gonna do it all. Use your brain, guys. <laughs> I'm a dumb meathead. If I can figure that out, I know you can. All right, guys, the next piece for chest here is gonna be a pec minor dip. Now, this is gonna be an extremely small range of motion. It's not gonna feel natural. You're not gonna feel good at it. But once you nail this, you're like, holy shit, this feels amazing. So John made me do these, God, until I felt like I was blue in the face until I got really good at them. Like, I feel like he made me do them every chest workout for the first two years we were together. And Next thing you know, my chest started going this way because the pec minor was getting thumped and I was getting strong at it and it actually helped my pressing. So let me show you what that looks like. All right guys, so I'm here. I pitch my feet a little bit forward. Now all I'm gonna do is shrug my shoulders and then press up, squeeze. Shrug, squeeze. Shrug, squeeze. Squeeze. Just like that. So I think about trying to force my hands through the floor. So I'm shrugging and then hands through the floor and you should be able to feel it on the side portion, all that meat, the underhanging of your pecs. So really cool thing that he taught me, meaning John, was on my pump days, I would do a chest exercise and then immediately come over and do 10 pec minor dips. So no matter what the exercise was, so let's say it's an incline Smith machine, for sets of eight to 10, and then immediately knock out uh, 10 pec minor dips, the pump is wild. So you just gotta try those guys. I'm telling you, once you get good at them, it will take some practice, but once you get good at them, you will be shocked at how much different dimension your chest takes on. All right, bonus exercise for you guys. The Garanda dip. Now, 
Vince Garanda made this super famous early, early, early in the bodybuilding world. Um, and John taught me this actually. So it's gonna feel a little weird at first, very similar to the pec minor dip, but will take some practice. But the goal with this is to really pitch your feet out in front of you forward. And I'm gonna get him to swing around to the side when I actually do these. So you can see, like you kick your feet out forward and you just sink down into them and then press up and squeeze your chest. All right, feet forward, sink down and up. Sink down and up. I kinda let my air balls flare to the side, up, just like that. So I've trashed my chest and shoulders while I was shaking doing this. But you kind of like find the sweet spot and just sink down and press up. And I'm telling you, it drills that pec. So if you like those bonus little dip for you, you won't see a lot of people that do those in gyms. Like I said, it will take you some practice. All right, so there's the four dip variations for chest. Now, what most people do dips for are triceps. So with that, the posture, you have to be really upright and try to really drive down. You definitely want to come to full lockout here and squeeze the tri. So let me show you a few of those. So I don't want to go really deep. Right there. Right there. Right there. Now, that feels pretty good for my tricep, but honestly, a dip machine is my favorite. So let me show you those. All right, the dip machine my absolute favorite for triceps. Now, like I said, if you feel body weight or plate loaded free weight dips for triceps and it blows your triceps up, you get a huge pump and it feels great on your elbows, by all means do that. But for me, I much prefer this dip machine because it purposely keeps me upright with the back support and I'm able to just focus on driving down, squeezing the long head of my tricep as hard as possible. So let me show you a few of these reps. All day long, I like the neutral grip, not pronated here. So sit down, so I stay tall, let this ride up and then press down through my tries. One, two. Let it ride up, up, up. One, two. One, two. One, two. Get that good stretch. Squeeze, just like that. If you notice, I wasn't making my elbows stay pinned to my sides. It doesn't feel natural to me. So I kind of let them flare a little bit the deeper I get. But as long as I'm driving through the heel of my hand and squeezing the long head of my tricep, this is a great exercise that drills the triceps. When I first started bodybuilding, Everyone said you have to do cross bench dips. So I have it set up here in between the hip press and a regular flat bench. But normally you would put two benches across from each other and then your buddy would load three, four, five, six, seven plates on your lap and you would do like strip sets. So you do as many as you can, strip a plate, as many as you can, strip a plate. And honestly, I was joking with Chaz before. I was like, I don't know how in the hell I did that. I had to have way more shoulder mobility than I do now because if I try to do these now, like I'm gonna show you a few reps, like it just feels terrible. So let me show you. This is my least favorite dip. Here, like you sink down, that just feels tight. And then up, one, two, one, two. Now, my body weight, that doesn't feel terrible. On a scale of one to 10, probably like a three as far as bad. But I could probably do 100 reps there. If he loaded five plates on my lap, it probably felt like my shoulder was gonna rip out of socket. And then on top of that, if I'm by myself training solo, it's impossible to load those weights up in there. I can't tell me times like I've crushed my and balls with plates uh, trying to do that because I thought it was right to do. I thought that's what it needed for my arms to grow. I thought that's what you had to do because fill in the blank pro told me I had to. So if you're doing this now, I'm telling you, I, I, there's just so many better options that I would throw this in the garbage. All right, everyone, the dip. What a great push exercise because honestly, at the end of the day, chest, shoulders, triceps all get worked with every single one of those variations I just showed you. And to me, you know, it's one of those things very similar to pull-ups. Like, if you can't do a dip, you just gotta start practicing. Like, don't view it as you. So, oh, I weigh too much. Oh, I'm a bodybuilder. Oh, I'm a beast. Like, bullshit. Just practice. Do them. I don't care if you do 20 sets of one, and then the next week you do 10 sets of two. Like, you just have to force yourself and not accept being weak. And that's a mindset that I've always had and always adopted and tried to transfer to my clients. Like, don't be weak and pathetic. If you want to get stronger, will that shit into existence and it'll happen. So if you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, Chris on CB.